All right, Callison from WubWubs. Um, so I just wanted to make a quick video on the basically what you get from ordering from Amazon. So these were on sale just like yesterday uh, f for like 170 bucks. So I mean, I don't think it's been that low for a while. And so I decided to pick it up. It came just like this. I mean, no shrink wrap or anything. And I, you know, I figured, hey, it's, I had like the overnight shipping where it would get here like early in the morning. And uh, yeah, it literally came just like this. So I think we should go through it and see what we get with a tampered with product. I already contacted Amazon. So at first they're like, no, we can't give refunds for this. So like I called them. And I told them like what happened and then you know, he basically gave a full refund. They're like, yeah, just keep it or throw it away. So probably go through all the cards, more than likely throw away the cards. I don't know if they're fake or, or what happened or if they just went through it or just crush. I have no idea, but just, I mean, just by feeling it, they feel pretty, like this one's pretty crumpled, crumpled up. At least it feels like it. Let me see the box. I mean, all 12 packs are in there, it's supposed to be in there, but. All right, what is it? Last three, 77 one. We'll check all the codes. I mean, sheesh. Again, no shrink wrap, nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna put this part of our farewell tour. I mean, I might even not even post this video. It opens super easily. Um, let's look at the 70. Can you guys see that? Can't really tell. 77. Yeah, 77. One. Um. Gosh dang! Look at that bend. I guess it's not that bad, but. One, two, three, four. I already saw Village, right? It's for the Mystical Archives. It's going by a dollar fifty. It's just the bend on them is pretty bad. I mean, after a few weeks, if you leave them out, I mean, foils will turn like this, but getting it right out of the pack, man, alive. Um, I don't know what to do with the. Uh, let's see the box. I like, I like to get the box in there. Mm, whatever. I'll get the box out of there. Let's still go through these. I'm not going to put any of these up for sale. Um. I think the jet I think the unfoiled ones might be a little will be a little bit better. Just put those in a nice little sleeve. I think we'll flatten them out pretty good. I'm gonna keep baseball chips by themselves. Again, those are pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Gosh dang. I mean, I'll use it. I don't know. Just makes you suspect, you know?
Probably my favorite looking cards are these ones, the Japanese art. Bend is real. It's like when I even uh, try not to like look like I'm kind of I'm not squeezing them. I'm just lightly. Uh, a bend is bad. Second mythic. Yeah, just don't. Just no. Uh, you, you get what you pay for. I think with Amazon. My first time actually ordering. Ah, it's not true. I ordered a set of uh, a box of Commander Legends from Amazon. I mean, that came pr through pretty quick. Pretty, I mean, pretty good. It's just hit or miss. And like I said, when I, I went to go do a refund, said the, this item is not available for refund. So you know, naturally, you get pretty mad because you just basically with tax and everything about two hundred bucks. Just had a call. That's a pretty good card right there. See, but these ones aren't bad at all. The uh, the unfoiled, they're not curved. Love those legendary lands. Man, duress. Just love these cards. Okay. Here we go. I don't have the price list up, but let's check it out. Only two bucks. Two fifty. Still third mythic. Front packages that were the most damaged or curled. That one didn't feel too bad. Like this one, holy cow, you can almost maybe see it through the package. I guess I didn't check the silver numbers, like I said, I would on every one of them, but still 77 more. Maybe we're just also really easy to open, but maybe we're just used to Crimson Vow and Kamigawa collector's packs and how hard those things are freaking open. Fourth Mythic.
Okay, fifth. Got a sweet elder dragon. Four bucks. Borderless. Five. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang, that looks good though. The foil. Too bad. Look how curved that is though. Golly. I mean, I guess a good thing it's Liliana. I mean, uh, not Liliana, but Professor Onyx, because I'll keep her for my own deck. But sheesh. Yeah, you can't sell that. I mean, I guess you could as lightly played. I think uh, TCG Mar uh, Marketplace updated their um, condition uh, standards. And you are allowed to, you, you can set him with this bend, but I don't think you could put it as near mint. I think you have to put it as light played, because you have to go down this little point system. Um, you're allowed to have nicks, so like up there, you, you kind of might be able to see this little nick up there. Like that's normal, that's from the packing. Um, then like sometimes in the edges, you'll get like the little cut. There sometimes you'll see like the little dots up there. That's normal. That's fine. I still consider near mint. But I think if it's, I think you have, you're only allowed five millimeters of play when you lay it flat on the ground, and it has more than that. It's not considered near mint anymore. I'll still have prices up and pretend like it was an actual real box. But see, then you look at this one. This one's not bad at all. So maybe some of these I'll put up. Like if it's like that, that's perfectly fine. I mean, this guy's probably not going for anything. So. But gosh dang. These are the ones. This is the reason why I get this collect the this collector's box of these cards. Okay. You got all the mythics in this one. So yeah, uh, before this video is record, I mean like a couple days ago, recording this at the beginning of March, I don't know when this will get out, but uh, TCG just came out with a new, I mean it really didn't change much, it just gave like uh, sellers a little point system, because I don't know, maybe people were just throwing everything they had as near mint. Um, so I guess if you get so many points knocked against it, then you have to like downgrade it to lightly played and so on and so forth. And it's just a little bit more detailed. Uh, so it's like 10 pages long, maybe 10, 15 pages long. Um, most of it is picture, so it's like not a lot of reading. Um, but like this card is damaged. Look at that. Just creased right down the middle. Like this, you would have to sell uh, heavily played or damaged. I don't think you get away with that. Doesn't matter, it's that wizard who wears glasses. Like, glasses are cool and all, but if you're magical, you probably probably should figure it out, you know? Like, oh gosh dang, so sad. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. I'm definitely gonna post this today then. Like, look at this, $50 card. And boom, can't sell it. Trash. Golly. That is bad. And I, I have one of these also up for sale, so <laughs> if you do <laughs> this is not the one you're getting. Uh when you do buy from me, you get the look at that. I don't know if you could see that. Can you guys see that knock right there? That just bend right here? It's like a crease. Ugh, it's that is depressing. Man alive. 
It just had to be on the freaking uh, higher price cards. Like that one you can see probably the best. Man, that is bad. Aw. Are you kidding me? I'm like, I guess this goes. Is this a mythic one? I don't know. I think I mixed them up. Yeah, that one's bent too. Sheesh. This is a bad pack, and the bad pack had to be one of the highest priced ones. Oh, this breaks my heart. Golly. Are you freaking kidding me? Let's see how much meal it is. Just go off of it. I don't think she's bringing it much, but what? She's foil. Yeah, two bucks. But still. Borderless, foiled, so probably like four bucks. Oh, there you go. You can see that nice bend right there. Yeah, this will have to go as heavily damaged. Golly, that is sad. Let's see this one. Let's go look, flip it over. Oh, there's no creases. Yeah, there's a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bit of crinkling up there where it bends. It's a little bit. see this one that is depressing yep look at these ones you're going straight into the trash. Golly, this is bad. Like, <laughs> just straight mega trash. I mean, at least some of these, like, you could use, like, I would use this for my deck, you know, like, who cares if you got that right there? You know, if you're using it for yourself, I mean, I would never use this card. It just doesn't fit how I play, but golly. Aw, I'm gonna land. Come on. That's trash. All right, let's go these in order so when I do put up pricing. What this box could have been, you know? Keeping that one, even though it's pretty bad. I'll play with it. Obviously, a gate I'll keep. Two more packs. This one's even worse. Look at that. Trash, 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 trash. Trash pile. Actually, I'll go through all the commons anyways. Throw my overflow box. Please, 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 please. Not selling it, but definitely keeping it. Yeah. It's not too bad, but again, that's like you would have to put that as lightly played. I would think. I mean, like if you got this in the mail and you saw that, I, I don't know. That's. I wouldn't send it. I mean, the bottom looks fine, but you get the top. It's just right here. Yeah, you would have to put that as lightly or moderately played. A little bit better, dude. Bottom. Oh. Cool. You know.
I'll have to relook at the stand uh, the standards. Might be able to get away from heavily played, mo I mean moderately played on some of those, but again, I'm not. Unless it's near mint, I'm not going to sell it. Uh, just bad foil curving, that's all. I don't think it's the five millimeters either. These, this is actually a decent pack, but it'll probably be like the worst one, you know, pricing wise. That's how much his mascot's going for. That's just a regular one, nothing. Yeah, like this one looks good. That one's a good card. Yeah, I love etched foil. Like I don't, I'm not a particular fan of just regular foil like this. I, I love when they just, it's subtle. It's subtle. Boom. All right, mythic. Don't know what this one is. Looks freaking sweet though. Um, I'm gonna go through these real quick, see if we can find any mythics in there. There's what, about four damage cards in there. I'm gonna go through them a little slower so you can check them out. You witness my heartbreak like this. Come on. I know for a fact this is about 50 bucks. Or at least 40. I mean, I guess I could sell for heavily damaged. Get like a dollar. But gosh dang, these cards look great. See, that one's, yeah, that one's fine. So about half a box heavily damaged. I have to go through and take all these mythics back out. But holy cow, how many freaking mythics did we get? So this is a regular box. Right? We bought a regular box. Pretend, we're pretending right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, eleven 10, 11 mythics. I've never gotten 11 mythic box. Like, what? <laughs> uh, like, can't sell that one. You could, you can't, this one's fine. That one's good. So, Magnus Opus, trash. You know, let me get all the, let me get this out of here. This is actually kind of a fun video. All right, trash, not trash, Ugh. not trash, 100% trash, trash. You could sell this one, no, that's trash. Not trash, uh, moderate, you could get away, nah, I don't know, that bent. I'll go with trash. Not trash. Not trash. Not trash. Not trash. So out of our 11 mythics, we have one, two, three, four, five trashes. Uh, Legendary land, that one's 100%. Uh, you could get away with moderately played on this one. It just has a light curving on the foil right there. And both of these are good. Um, 100, yeah, you can't get away with that. That's no excuse personal and this one's same but the worst one is this one wait no not that one where's that is it in here the trash pile little mila oh i mean you can definitely tell the the cracking up when it's bent on a foil um that was not i mean it was fun i guess i mean it was fun but heart heartbreaking like the best box i could i've ever opened like mythic wise, number mythics in half of it's trash because you get a damaged product from Amazon. I mean, maybe this is just like just one of those little teachings. I don't know if you're allowed to trash talk Amazon on YouTube, but <laughs> look at that. Again, it didn't come with the protective, I'm sorry, the, the here, I'll show you the cow behind. This is the video I'm making next for farewell tour. I mean, like it didn't come with the, and this is, purchase at my local store so um you know always look forward to see if it has a shrink wrap on it 
Um, so what's it supposed to look like? <laughs> Not like this. Uh, still is fun. Again, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have pricing up and uh, and everything. Pretending it was a uh, you know what you would get. I mean, you probably would never get this 11 mythics. Uh, you might, but it's just kind of funny to see one of the greatest. Like this is the real heartbreaker. Is that lightning? Uh, this one. Golly, that is bad. One of the coolest looking cards, and yeah. All right. Um, I hope you actually enjoyed that. I mean, it was fun. It just goes to show just it's 50 50 from Amazon. Um, at least I'm batting 50 50. The first Commander of Legends that I bought, uh, f I mean, yeah, that I've ever actually, the first Commander of Legends I've ever bought, I bought off of Amazon because it was at a good price. They, they had like 106 or something like that. Um, yeah, good. Everything is perfect in there, and I get this this morning, and yeah. Um, so yeah, every all the beats that you're gonna hear on here are composed by myself, Cameron, and Chris. Um, again, this is part of our farewell tour. I'm gonna rock right this. I'll be doing the uh, uh, Kaldheim collectors. Never bought anything from Kaldheim. Looks pretty sweet. Oh, that's not true. I've got singles from them, like. I'll buy singles with a set, but I never bought a set for draft or collectors. And they're all on sale right now. I think Kamigawa kind of just drove everything else down. I mean, Kamigawa's up about 300 or more. They stopped print, um, or they didn't print any actually. They just have that first wave, and then basically all the other collector boosters are going down. You know what I have been seeing is Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. They stopped print on that, and their price is slowly climbing. Um, I'm kind of sad that I. I've already bought like three of their collector boxes because I love that set. And I was thinking about getting a case and I passed on it because like I already got enough cards for myself and why would I need, you know, don't have that cash to throw around just to like, you know, buy on a case and save for future investment. But looking at it, prices are going up pretty high. They're up around 190 again. So anyways, again, hope you enjoyed. And until next time, thank you from Wubwubs.